Hey guys, I wanted to do this really quick video because I get this question a lot. People want to know what I use for a seed starting mix. Now, most of the time I use just regular compost, but there are times where you're going to want to use a soilless mix. Uh, typically when you have a seed that takes a long time to germinate, like today I'm going to be germinating some Japanese maple seeds. The last time I did it, they took weeks just to come up out of the soil. So uh, I wanted to use a soilless mix. Now the reason, there's two reasons why you want to use a soilless mix. The first one is, is that you can uh, basically control how aerated the soil is. Uh, basically how light it is compared to how dense. So in other words, I've, I, I use two ingredients and that's all I use. I use coconut coir or fiber, coconut fiber, they call it coconut coir, and perlite. Just those two ingredients. Uh, if I use more coconut fiber, it's going to be a little denser. If I use more of the perlite, it's going to be lighter. So that's how you can control it. And the second reason is you, uh, you, you don't introduce things like bacterial problems and viruses and it cuts down on fungus gnats and things like that because there's nothing in the soil or the medium to, for them to feed on. So that's another reason why you would want to use it. So something to consider if you're going to be using a soilless mix is it's not going to have any nutrients in it. So you're going to have to use fertilizer if it stays in the pot for a longer period of time. In other words, past its second set of leaves and whatnot. So you're only going to want to use this for seed starting and it works wonderfully for that. Now with the coconut fiber, you're going to have to, you're going to have to hydrate it. And what I do is I take big clumps off and I stick them in a, in a pail and I put enough water in. I just keep putting water in and keep breaking down the bigger chunks until I get a nice uh, consistency, like kind of like, like dirt, you know? So, but you'll, you'll kind of just kind of play with it because you're going to actually water it anyways. And so you're going to be adding more water to it. So that's the beauty of the coconut fiber. You really can't add too much water. It's just going to pour out the bottom anyways. And you don't have to worry about watering too much. If you use a pot with holes in the bottom, you water a lot and it's going to pour out the holes. You're not sucking nutrients out. So you're not losing any of that, that, that nutrient, the nutrients in the soil. So, uh, it's really simple to do. I've got some here that I've already made up. I'll bring you in closer and show it to you, but that's, 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 that's how I make my, my soil is seed starting mix. It, it's the easiest thing on the planet to do. And I recommend it for anything that's going to take a long time to germinate. Okay. So there it is nice and light and fluffy. Good seed starting mix right there. You don't have to worry about fungus gnats attacking it because there's nothing in here for them to feed on and there's no bacterial problems, no virus problems. So that's it. Really simple stuff. All right. There it is. My soilless seed starting mix. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch y'all later.